Hi everybody, today's focus I am testing OxyClean to see how well it removes bacteria from cleaning cloths. January of 2023, I tested the OxyClean laundry sanitizer to see how well it removes bacteria on my cleaning cloths in my home. And this became quickly a favorite in my home. However, this product appears to have been discontinued. So now I'm retesting everything that I tested using the OxyClean laundry sanitizer with just the regular OxyClean. So in order to test how well OxyClean can remove bacteria from my cleaning cloths, what I do first is get some cotton cleaning cloths. These are just cotton white washcloths and I mark them so I know where I'm going to test. I'm going to rub these cloths in areas like my kitchen sink, my bathroom sink and my toilet room to get bacteria on these cloths. Then I'm going to take a petri dish just like this guy here and label them A, B, and C. I'm going to take some sterile swabs and I'm going to swab the cloth and place that sample in the section labeled B for before. Then I'm going to clean the cloths according to the OxyClean directions, which we'll read in a minute. When they come out of the washing machine, swab them again and place that sample on the section labeled A for after. So we'll be able to see how much bacteria is on the cloth before washing and after washing with OxyClean. Then I'm gonna put the cloths in the dryer. I'm gonna dry them in high heat for one hour. I keep that consistent throughout all my laundry tests. I know some people want me to experiment with other temperatures and I will, but this test we're just gonna do the same thing I've done before. When they come out of the dryer, I'll swab them again and put them on a separate Petri dish. So we'll be able to see how much bacteria is on a cloth before washing, after washing, and after coming out of the dryer. Now, if you're curious to see how well just laundry detergent does when it comes to cleaning cloths, I have two videos on that. I'll put them in the description below. I tested Tide Pods as well as the Norwex Ultra Powder Plus laundry detergent. I'll put those in the description below. For those of you curious how bleach works or just water works, those are two good controls. I have tested those also. I'll put the link to that video in the description below. And for those of you wondering how well just drying in the sun works, I've done that also. And I'll put a link to that in the description below. So when you're done watching the OxyClean video, if you want to see how well water does, bleach, Tide Pods, Norwex Ultra Powder Plus, or drying in the sun do, those videos will all be linked in the description below. Now let's read how we're supposed to use the OxyClean. The first thing I want to point out is nowhere on this box does it say anywhere that it can remove bacteria. That's the opposite of what they had on their laundry sanitizer. On the sanitizer, it said, you know, kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. But on this plane, it's called OxyClean Versatile Stain Remover. It doesn't have it listed anywhere that it can remove bacteria. I'm just testing it to see how well it does do since we no longer have that sanitizing product from OxyClean. If we're using it in laundry, it says, add to every load, use with detergent for cleaner, brighter, wider clothes, safe for all colors. Fill to line one for regular loads or more for large or heavily soiled loads. Okay, now I have an HE machine. I have a high efficiency top loader. So for those directions, it says add OxyClean Versatile Powder to wash up before adding laundry. Do not mix OxyClean with detergent in the dispenser. Read your HE owner manual for instructions. Okay, that's fine. Now I'm not gonna use any detergent. I wanna make this very clear because oftentimes in the comments of my other laundry tests like my Borox and my Lysol laundry sanitizer, I've done a lot of different tests with bacteria in the laundry. People will put in the comments, we're supposed to use it with detergent. I understand that. However, we want to see what just one product does at a time. I'm only going to use OxyClean. I'll fill the scoop to line number one and that's all I'm going to use. I'm not going to use any detergent because we want to see what the OxyClean can do. We don't want to have to be guessing, well, was it the detergent that removed the bacteria or was it the OxyClean that removed the bacteria? I just want to see what OxyClean can do alone. There are a lot of variables that I can do for these tests. I can test them alone. I can test them with detergents. There are hundreds and thousands of laundry detergents that I can test. So for now, we're just testing the OxyClean. So let's see how well OxyClean Versatile Stain Remover removes bacteria from my cleaning cloths, even though they make no claims to be able to do so.
Now for some results. Let's take a look at the cloth that I used to wipe the kitchen sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria and some different types as well. And in the after section, which is after it was washed with the OxyClean, we can still see a lot of bacteria on that cloth. Now we can make a note and say that the smaller type bacteria seems to be almost gone, but there's still a lot of bacteria on that cloth. So the OxyClean did not do a great job at removing the bacteria from my cleaning cloth. Let's look at the cloth that was used to wipe the bathroom sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria and different types as well. And in the after section, which is after washing with the OxyClean, there's still bacteria on the cloth, although we can see that some of the smaller types of bacterial colonies have decreased. So the OxyClean did not do a great job of removing the bacteria from my cleaning cloth. The cloth that was used to wipe the toilet rim. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, we can definitely see a visible decrease in bacteria, but there still is a lot of bacteria on that cleaning cloth. So the OxyClean did not do a great job of removing the bacteria from the cleaning cloths. Next, let's look at the results after they came out of the dryer. The cloth that was used to wipe the kitchen sink. So we can see there's just one bacterial colony left on that cloth. So the dryer did a great job at removing most of the bacteria from that cleaning cloth. The cloth that was used to wipe the bathroom sink. We could see no bacterial growth at all from the cleaning cloth that I used to wipe the bathroom sink, so the dryer did a great job of removing the bacteria. In the cloth that was used to wipe the toilet rim, we're seeing one bacterial colony, so the dryer did a fantastic job of removing the bacteria from this cleaning cloth. Now, if you remember from my video from the OxyClean laundry sanitizer, when those cloths came out of the washing machine, they barely had any bacteria on them. I, I don't remember the exact counts, but there was almost nothing or nothing on those cloths. Now, that's not quite true for just regular OxyClean. And that's okay because the OxyClean laundry sanitizer was meant to sanitize, remove bacteria from laundry, and this OxyClean is just a stain remover. They make no claims to be able to remove bacteria. I was just curious to see if it would be able to. I will say the cloths did come out bright and white, and especially the one with the kitchen sink that actually got a lot of dirt on them, even though there was no detergent washing with them, um, all that was cleaned off. So that's a plus. It did well at removing the dirt, actually, and the staining, and it made them nice and bright. I'll put a link in the description below of the other OxyClean laundry sanitizer test that I did in case you do want to watch that, although I haven't been able to find that product at all in any stores, and I'm pretty certain it's discontinued. So this OxyClean product is not a substitute for their OxyClean laundry sanitizer. It does not remove bacteria from the laundry and it doesn't make any claims to. It most certainly is not the same product at all but it was fun to test. So if there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor, put it in the comments section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list or you can mail me something. My email address is in the description below. Send me an email, let's have a conversation about the product. It might be something that I've already tested, it might be something that I have in queue at home, or it might be something I just do not have the ability to test in my home. But let's have a conversation about it and then I'll send you my mailbox address. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, have yourselves a great day.